On today's episode of On the Couch with Gavin and Chris, we have Ryan Quinn from NBC's The Voice. Join us as we talk about the behind the scenes of The Voice, his next big move, and in the one minute challenge, we poorly describe musicians for him to guess. This episode is sponsored by Mohawk Valley Living TV Show and Magazine. To find out how you could be a sponsor, message us on Facebook. Like our Facebook page and stay up to date with a new video every Tuesday. Welcome back to this edition of On the Couch with Gavin and Chris. <laughs> on today's episode, we have Ryan Quinn from The Voice. Uh, <laughs> what's going on hey. <laughs> welcome thank you thanks for yes. having me guys yeah thanks for thanks for being here so of course so let's uh let's start with a little bit of background okay you're from clinton new york right yes yes i am they said i was from westmoreland i live there now but yeah i'm from clinton but you're oh. originally from clinton so the voice said you're from westmoreland like? yeah they said uh, I was from, it was i guess it, they just figured oh, yeah. it'd be easier <laughs> for tv i don't know <laughs> westmoreland's right. easier to say than clinton i don't know i don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right so a uh, little bit of background about yourself um where did you how did you get into music and singing and everything uh my dad Specifically, my dad and all of my parents' friends really are all musicians. So I grew up listening to crazy music with my dad. He's a drummer, so I'm a drummer first. Oh, nice. And uh, I'd grow up like playing on like practice pads, like drum practice pads on a coffee table with him watching music DVDs and stuff. And they encouraged me to take piano. And then, which you enjoyed which immensely, I, I can tell. No, no, no. I really, I really do. But it's just so cliche. Like all my parents wanted me to take piano, but. Uh, <laughs> They did, and I actually really did like it. Yeah. So I went to college and, and took up guitar, and, and that's when I started to take singing seriously, I guess. I just, I don't know. I guess I could always do it, and I just didn't take it seriously till I was, like, 18. So that's when you really got serious about it. Yeah. Like, so, in high school, I kind of did a little bit. I like, yeah. like, a the whole, like, talent show crap. All <laughs> <that>. <laughs> you know, like, Were you in bands or anything like that? Yeah, I was in a band... Um, some more cash. <laughs> You're good. You're, whatever. I was in a band from when I was like 14 to the senior year of high school. Uh, we were called Gonzo. <laughs> we were like kind of like a Black Sabbathy, hard, slow doom rock band. And I was the drummer, and it was awesome. Um, and I sang a tune at like one of the Battle of the Bands or something. And I was like a really quiet kid, so nobody You're expected it. <laughs> you were the brooding drummer. I was I was actually really like happy all the time, and everyone else was kind of brooding, you know. I was kind of like the odd man out, but um, nobody saw it coming really, and uh, I guess I realized I didn't suck at it after that. So nice, kept, cool, kept at it, yeah. Cool. Nice. yeah. So then, um, how did you hear about the voice auditions? Well, four years ago, four years ago, me and a couple of friends from college went and did an open call in Manhattan just because we were fans of the show and just wanted to see what it was all about. And none of mm. us got a call back at all. We mm. all went and just nothing happened. And so I was kind of like, well, I guess I'm not going to do that. You know? <laughs> um, and plus, you know, the whole singing reality show thing, you never know what's going to happen with those, you know, especially like American Idol. They make you look, they kind of like make you look bad sometimes on shows like that. True. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> It's all what the producers want to show. So. Yeah. yeah, which could work for some people, I guess. It totally could work for some people. Yeah, <laughs> so bad. And it's, it's all good. It's something I mean, that's always going to give you some sort of exposure if you get on. Yeah. But so I kind of like put it on the back burner and didn't want to do it. And once I started playing bar gigs, like at Piggy Pats and Quavos and stuff, like every single night there'd be that one person be like, "You should really audition for The Voice." You should. <laughs> <laughs> so you got that little whisper. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. whisper, and then, you know. My parents were really nagging me real hard to audition for the show. My girlfriend was nagging me really hard to audition for the show. And I finally was just like, you know what? It's been like three and a half years. I'm gonna, I'll go do it. I'll show you guys <laughs> that's a show. I won't get on it. We're going to do it. Prove you guys wrong. Went to the open call. Got through, obviously, I guess. Um, and 
after that point, I just treated every other round like, you know, like a cherry on top. Like, if I make it to the next round, that, that'd be great. And if I don't, well, mm -hmm. I didn't think I was going to get this far anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. That's good. Good way of looking at it. Yeah, you yeah, know, just so you have no expectations, so you're not like right. totally crushed. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it, it was a it was a long process from the the first audition, the open call to getting to the blinds. There were like oh, really? multiple callbacks. One of the callbacks before the blinds was in L.A., so oh. they fly you out for that. Um, you have to go through multiple interviews personality tests, wow. a, lot wow. of, a lot of things before you actually get to the blinds. Um, but it, it, was, it was nuts. Were yeah. the blinds the final 24 people? The or? blinds are the, the very first. Uh, that's like where the, they hit their button, they spin around. Yeah, if they like what they hear, uh, then yeah. if, if more than one person turns right. around, then you can choose who you want to work with. Hmm. So who turned around for you? I was really lucky. I got all of them. Wow, that's I got, awesome. I got all of them. So you and, get to pick after that. Yes. Yeah. So if yeah, if one person turns around, then you're with that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. You're with that person, and if two or more, then they kind of pitch themselves to you, hmm. and you make a decision. Nice. Did you know who you wanted to work with b before all of it, like going into it? I sort of did. Yeah. I just kind of assumed. I kind of assumed Adam. Yeah, going in. Going in. More your style kind of thing. Is that what you're thinking? Or? You know, I didn't really know what I was thinking. I just was like, <laughs> I, I feel like he's like a cool guy. He's All probably right. down to earth. And I think I'd just like to work with him. And I was also kind of set on uh, Pharrell. Because mm -hmm. Pharrell is just this laid back, Quincy Jones kind of mind. Yeah. You know, he, he's a he's really, really musical mind. Really smart guy. But uh, I guess Adam just really sold himself. So you picked him. So I picked him. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So he was your first judge, and you got into the, what was the next round after that? After the blinds of the battle rounds, and battle that's a rounds. duet with right. somebody else on your team. And it's kind of a weird concept. You sing together. It's a duet, but they market it as a battle. So yeah. it's like you're going against each other, but if you have that mentality, it's going to suck because you need it to be, you need to be like in unison and... and right. So it's Make not it like a fight. A performance. No, it's not a fight. It's like, <laughs> it's like singing any duet and making it the best you can. And that may have been my favorite, my favorite one. Yeah, nice. maybe. That's cool. Yeah, because the girl Katie and I just we just got along really well, and we got to do a Paul McCartney song. Oh, nice. that's cool. It was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. So, did you get through that round, or did you? When did you get stolen? So I, I stolen you, so right? I won the battle round. Right. And then, I, so I was still on Adam's team, and Katie went to Blake Shelton's team. And then the knockout, I went against. Um, my roommate, actually. Uh, See, awkward. When, yeah, it was, it was funny. <laughs> when, I mean, when you're there, what people don't know is that you are, I can't tell you where we were, but you are sequestered. Really? Yes. So, so you, you can't, you can't no really outside. do much of anything. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, you could like go across the street to like the little food court area or whatever, um, but you have to like sign out every time. <laughs> and if you wanted to go to like, I don't know, the grocery store or something, you would sign up in the production office, and then if enough people wanted to go, they'd take a van, and you'd all get in and go. Hmm. Uh -uh. So I was living with Owen, Owen Danoff. He's a good, his father. <laughs> you know that song, Skyrockets in Flight, Afternoon Delight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> right, right. It's a good song. <laughs> it's a very good song. Uh, his father wrote it, and a bunch of other. Wow. Uh, yeah, he wrote it, and he wrote, um, like, the, the West Virginia, like, Na like state song, <laughs> like the John Denver song. Oh, wow. wow! So he has that he's got in his a blood. legacy. Yeah, he's got the songwriting stuff in his blood. <laughs> so he's a good guy, and we really hit it off. So we just wanted whatever happened, we were gonna be okay with it because we're buddies, and we want each other to do well. Yeah. And, and uh, he won that, and then Christina picked me up. That's cool. Which was really neat. Yeah. And working with her was. Amazing. Yeah, that was my next question. What is it like actually meeting the judges and working with them? They were surprisingly down to earth people. Yeah, they really were. Hmm. Um, Adam was a really cool. He's a really nice guy. I feel like, especially like outside, like if you could talk to him you know, off camera, he just seems like a really normal dude. Yeah. So that's cool. He's a t he can play every instrument. You know, he's just like a cool. I'd like to pick his brain about that kind of stuff. <laughs> And Christina Aguilera, I didn't know what to expect from her, but she was 
actually really sweet and really stupidly talented. <laughs> like, I knew, but I didn't know. Like, <laughs> she would give, cons she'd like give constructive criticism in like finding different melodies and stuff. And she'd just be talking like this and then just do one of her crazy Christina runs <laughs> and then go back to talking. Like, she was just Like breathing. it was completely nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Effortless, yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. So do they like, uh, like help you with like styling and stuff like behind the scenes like oh yeah like <laughs> your wardrobe and everything they, oh yeah, yeah and makeup and, and all that all stuff, that stuff. Okay. yeah so <laughs> they you have a say in what you wear I mm -hmm. mean they they make the final decision obviously but like you have a say um, and so like the blinds or like maroon pants and a blue shirt kind of like this if it was blue with glasses and like I usually would wear that you know and then they wanted to like you know build up gradually build up the the formality of your outfits i guess hmm. as the, the so you'd be the wearing like a bow tie yeah. at the end of the show or yeah something. right i don't know i don't know <laughs> but um the wardrobe people were super sweet love working with them the third round the knock of the one i got stolen i kind of looked like a dad <laughs> i did All right. i looked back and i looked like a dad which is fine <laughs> but um or a science professor <laughs> it's, it's just, it more like, like a science professor yeah science right? professor with the glasses with like the blue suit jacket blue shirt blue pants it was <laughs> like, yeah I'm a high school science teacher but uh that's fine that's cool that they they help you with that stuff i didn't realize that it was like all the way from the beginning that they from the, even the blinds that they're helping you with that kind of stuff that's oh absolutely cool. yeah oh if, the, if i dressed myself i probably would have <laughs> T-shirt and cargo shorts, or yeah. something, you know, like <laughs> typical guy. Yeah. Just like whatever. Yeah. So originally you were teaching at House of Good Shepherd, right? Yeah, I was a teacher's assistant there. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And you were teaching music, or what was it? Yeah. So they on the show they said that I, I'm a teacher, which I'm, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't have like I don't have my master's in education or anything like that. But I worked at the school uh, at the House of the Good Shepherd, and I was a teacher's assistant. Um, my homeroom was one of the English rooms, hmm. but I primarily was in the either the music room or the art room. Cool. I was like that guy, yeah. which is pretty cool, you yeah. know, and I, I essentially co-taught the music classes with music teacher Teresa Dunn. Um, we did like drum circles, and I would learn songs on piano so the kids could sing along, or you know, to give them basic drum lessons. Um, it was pretty much like an open forum kind of That's neat. thing. Just nice. to give them like a, a way to get it all out, you know. And it's really small classes, like seven people maximum per class. It was great. Nice. Yeah, yeah. that's great. So now that the voice is over, mm -hmm. what are you going to do from here? Are you going to go back to teaching or are you going to pursue, fully pursue <laughs> music? <laughs> Well, I, I actually very recently resigned from the House to Good Shepherd, oh, okay. which was not an easy thing to do because I was there for two and a half years and I really enjoyed it. Right. But um, with being on a show like this specifically, you gain a ton of followers in a really short amount of time. Mm. And you have to really make the most of the short time you have where there's not another season happening because once another season happens, they might forget about you, right? Well, they will. Yeah, yeah people, a lot of people will. Right. Yeah. So because, you got to capitalize on that momentum you've got going. Yeah. So there was this guy when we were at the top 24 the, for the live playoff round, it was called. That's as far as I got. Um, before we performed, this guy from a, a previous season named Luke Wade, he came. He made it like to the top eight or something. He came and just told us what to expect after you get off because he was from a couple seasons back. And he said, there are two types of fans you will get. There are the people that really like you, and they like you for being you and your style and your music. And then there are people that like you because you were on The Voice hmm. and because you were on TV. Hmm. And so those people you have for like, you know, five months until the oh, next wow. season starts. Yeah. Because then, then they forget about you. Right. Right. Then they're back to The Voice. So yeah, then the back to the voice. So if you want to work with those people, you got to move really quick. Hmm. Uh, the other people are the ones that honestly are more important, and you want to you want them to like really love your music and, and what you do and follow your career. Right. So I'm going to LA. 
I'm going to LA in a couple yeah, months. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. To pursue Good music. To pursue music, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I figured ride the wave while you can. Yeah. That's awesome. So, are you still in that five month window you, th- you are? You yeah, think? I yeah. Think, I think I got a couple months, probably like four months. Left? Left. Yeah. I would say. Nice. Of the TV fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. Have your fans been nothing but nice? Oh, they've been wonderful. I, I've been, I was really, one of the main reasons why I never wanted to do a show like this before doing it was because you never know what people are going to say. Right. You know, and, you know, putting yourself out there in such like a huge way on television. Right. Like, and then so to be there are trolls on the internet yeah. and yeah. stuff that just, you know, for sure. say things to say things. And, so like I never read any of the YouTube comments or anything like that. That's just, always good. It's probably a good. <laughs> yeah, I just was like, you know what? I'm YouTube not gonna comments go there. are never. Yeah, you don't want to go look there. At that. Of no. all the of all the social media sites, the YouTube people are brutal. Right. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Brutal. <laughs> so I haven't even gone there, but um, people have been great, really, because people that reach out on like Twitter or or Instagram or Facebook, anything, mm-hmm. they're always just saying how much they appreciated everything that, that I did or, or something like that and it's really flattering. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. All right. Yeah, are you ready for the one minute challenge? <laughs> I hope so. Let's <laughs> find, yeah, let's find out. Let's right. find out. All right, so this is, uh, this is kind of like a, a trivia thing where we're going to describe, describe some celebrities. Okay. And music you, celebrities. Yeah, music okay. celebrities. Yeah, okay. And you will have to tell us the names. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm bad at names to begin with, so I feel your pain. Right. It's now time for the one minute challenge. You ready? <laughs> as ready as I'm gonna be. All Let's right. do it. All right, here we go. All right, one minute starts now. Okay. All right, so this person. He likes is, to wear hats. He's very happy. Big hats, happy James guy. Bay. No, he's no, really happy. He's you know, uh, one of the you judges probably know on The Voice. Oh, you probably know this guy. No, for real. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, this guy kind of looks like him if he had a guitar. He's a ginger. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. Yes. <laughs> wow, that was good. Yeah, right. Uh, she has a cat named she likes Kitty candy Perry. And Katie, Katy Perry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this person's married to Beyonce, right? Yeah. Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was easy. Okay. Uh, Let's let him go. He's good. Uh, you are good. A really talented singer who's. <laughs> uh, gosh, I don't know how to do this one. Skip, yeah, right? skip, skip that it. one. Right. Skip okay. that one. Uh, boy band. Um, boy band. Yes. Justin Zane? Timberlake. No, is Justin in Timberlake is in sync. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, this person is having a feud with uh, Taylor Swift right now. And oh, stole the mic from her. Mary Kanye. Stole the mic. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll skip that one. Yeah. You can go with this one. Uh, rapper got in a big fight with uh, yeah, Tupac. That's <laughs> there you go. Biggie. Tupac. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Biggie. All right. Awesome. So how many was that? All right, let me okay. let me let me you guys close this off here. Yeah. Right. That wasn't too bad, right? That was no. Yeah, yeah, you did it. You got a lot of them. There you go. So this was, is how many you got. The, uh, what was the one Adele. you were, I don't know who to explain. Adele. Oh, Adele. Adele. Yeah, oh, I didn't oh. know how to explain it. So. <laughs> I don't know any of her songs. I could have just said hello, I guess, maybe. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, that's a good Todd Rundgren? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know so Richie. we'll get rid of that one, but how many did we get here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Six in a oh, minute. Well done, that's good. sir. Awesome. Well, great job yeah, on the job. one minute challenge. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yeah, you for yeah. being on the show. How can people find how can you? People find yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, lots of different ways. Okay, Perfect. so I have a, a website called ryanquinnmusic.com. You know, pretty easy. Uh, I've, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at I am Ryan Quinn. Cool. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Awesome. awesome. Well, that's pretty simple then. Yeah, thank you. Oh, can I say one more thing? Definitely. Yeah, go for it. Um, I actually just finished recording an EP. At Big Blue North Studios. Oh nice. Oh nice. Yeah, with a bunch of the guys from like Showtime, the band Showtime. Nice. Right. Yeah. And uh, so that's going to be coming out probably in September. Okay. Nice. How can people hear that one? Uh, I'm going to have a single come out first. iTunes. I'm going to make hard copies as well, sell at shows. And, awesome. And Spotify and stuff Very like cool. that. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, yeah awesome. we'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. All right, man. Well, thank yeah. you for being on the show. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Right. Much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> So if you guys want to stay up to date with all the videos we're putting out, uh, check us out on Facebook every Tuesday um, for that. And thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. All right, have a good one. If you guys want to sponsor On the Couch with Gavin and Chris, send us a message on Facebook and learn how.